Hello uh, replay viewers, we're back, this is part two. I tried the trick of getting my camera focus working, it didn't work, and even this one, oh, so it's still not working, Michael. It didn't come back, it didn't offer me the chance to continue my scope like it sometimes does, and the focus problem's still happening. So that's no good. We can't read what the, it wasn't fast enough. No, it was very fast. Oh, so I'm sure it was fast as I've ever been. Read. Like I said, it's like a little script F. This on the the symbol on the on the top of the sail. You can't see it on the on the zoom. <laughs> That's dead. No, it's not an F. It hasn't got a. Got a little any crossbar. <laughs> it's sipping around, but I think he's just practicing. So there's a boy down there. Sunfish, oh yeah. <laughs> so there's another boat. Or maybe another couple of boats. The boat just looks like the same sort of one waiting down there. So maybe they're going to come out. These guys just sailing around having fun, right? Huh? Just flapping loose in the breeze down there is this has been there all the time, I think. We used to be scared. We, well, I guess we always used to try and um, this shows you the level of sailing I got to. We used to always try not to jibe, right? Always turn into the wind. And, and then occasionally you'd jive and we never, we never, I don't think we ever capsized actually, but we were always scared we were going to capsize if we, if we did a jive. We never could do it either. We just got too scared when we couldn't work out how to, how to attack properly into the wind. And when it was, it was probably the strongest wind we've ever had to deal. It's not Australia too, no, no wind kill. Oh look, we've got a couple, out, a couple more coming out now. Here we go, finally got action. Well, especially if you're not expecting it, I guess uh, the boom swinging across at great speed. Hey, Dill K, I can't tell if they're I's or L's. Yeah, you know, I like the. Um, I don't think I, I never went in a race, but I am. Um, I liked the idea of the, the the mixture of skill and tactics and luck as, as well of what happens to the wind in sailing. Good day, Di, TPA Bay Dweller. Hope you're doing well. Four out now. Maybe I should go down. I was sort of hoping my um, family would catch up. I don't know if I should be worried about them. I guess you can always call me if you need to. I'll go down further so we can see them better. Might be getting ready for a race. Looks like they're not going to go far though. Oh, watch out for the boogie man. Too late. Too late now. It's only, I can only see one boy though. I'm gonna have surely at least two boys <laughs> for a race, if not three. <laughs> so it's 1.20, maybe they've got a 1.30 race. It'd be usually a triangle, wouldn't it? 
I think that's what they used to do. This is quite cute. It's a bit of a bit of heath. So the other night I tried to show you the heath, but it was probably too dark. There's a little boat here. That could be the starter's boat, could it? Oh, good day, Sujidug Vindgrifvind. So now can you see what the... symbol is on the sail. It's good to have you here Polly to explain it all to us. Oh yeah there's a couple of us more coming out so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six boats out now. Oh, Flying Scots, that sounds familiar. Yeah, they, it could be like a, an S. I'll come in close shortly. It's really annoying that I can't zoom properly. Oh, that's the laser over there, actually. The one's flapping in the breeze. Uh, a lasers, I recognise that symbol. Got a, there you go, can you see that? I definitely need derision. Right. Yeah, well lasers were too too fast to advance for us. You learnt on the laser. No. I don't know how old we were. I guess we must have been pretty young. We were probably like 10 or something. I would imagine. Oh. All right. So you know what's going to happen. Is there also, I'm not really concentrating on the framing very well here. Jay boats, what's going to happen? I don't know. Ah, here comes my wife and kids. So that probably means by the time they get here, I'll be scoping down. So, but I'm sorry, now they're all going to just disappear up the other end and we won't see them anyway. Well, that might be the end of the action. If they're all going down the other end, that might be the end of the brief action.
is the last one. No sign of any others coming out. No, there wasn't a gun. They look to be just mucking around. I don't think they're um I don't think they're really racing. This one's just going around in circles. It's getting a good look. It's probably the first time they've had a good look at sailing boats. And with that, I will say goodbye. It's a shame Mark can get here. We've got nice, yes, there's a good breeze. I'd be comfortable. Well, <laughs> it doesn't feel too scary to me, but um, I'd probably be scared if I was out there. Maybe I should become a sailor again. It doesn't really seem the right country to do sailing, but I guess you can do sailor and and not um, not being close to the to the coast. But I guess um, this is not a bad location for it, is it? All right then. Thank you, everybody. Love to you, Mark. We look forward to seeing you back tomorrow, 6 a.m. UK time, which is like what is that? 1 a.m. Eastern time, US, and then 10 p.m. Western time. Yeah, it's a good spot. I'm glad the boat finally came out and I'm glad I didn't come at dawn one day. And we've even got a bit of sunshine, so thank you everybody. Uh, no evening scope tonight. I don't know, probably won't scope tomorrow, but I'll be back. I expect a Monday morning for my usual Monday morning time and you'll be sleeping in. Alright, cheers everybody. Thank you for being here. Lovely to see you all and see you around. Keep laughing. <laughs>